Recursion 1, count pairs. We'll say that a pair in a string is two instances of a character separated by a character. So a, a x, a um, has, is a pair because a and a is separated by x. Pairs can also overlap. So here, a, x, a, x, a contains three pairs, a, x, a, a, x, a, and x, a, x. <clears throat> okay, so recruit. Recursively compute the number of pairs in the given string. So for the sample cases, AXA is of course one pair. Here there are two pairs, AXA and XAX. <coughs> and finally here there is one pair, XBX. Okay, so how can we compute this recursively? Okay, so similar to the previous problems, the one way we can do this is by always checking if the first few characters constitutes a pair and then we will continue forward with the rest of the string. So let's follow that process with um, the third sample case, a, x, b, x. So for, so for the first sample case, a, x, b, x, we will check the first characters, a, x, b. That is not a pair, so we, can, we will return zero, because it is not a pair, plus whatever results from the rest of this string. Remember um, that in, unlike the other previous um, recursions, here the parameter is a string, but the returning value is an integer. As such, we will be returning the count and we will be passing the rest of the string. So next is xbx. And the first three characters are xbx. And of course, xbx is a pair, so we will add to the count and we will continue forward, which would be bx. At this point, when we have bx, we cannot create a pair anymore because there is only two characters. If we have less than three characters, then we know that a pair can never exist. As such, we will just return zero. So let's implement that. So first, we will check if the length is less than or less than three. If this is true, we will just return zero because we know that no more characters, no more pairs can exist. Else, we will get the first few. Um, we will get the first, we will check if the first three characters are a pair. And the way we can do this is by first seeing if the first character is equal to the, is equal to the third character. And if this is true, then there is a pair. The middle character does, character does not matter. Um, yes, I don't think the middle character matters at all. So we can return one plus count pairs and then we will continue on with the rest of the string. Else we will just return zero, so we will not be adding to the count at all, plus count pairs, and then the rest of the string. Yes, and you, you can see it, it works.